Hi, welcome back to the Blind LP of Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Puff. We have finished investigating the room and now, hang on, I need to close something. Alright, here we go. Okay, we have finished investigating the room and now we are going to talk to De Detective Bad and why he suspects Jeff Master. So let's begin. If the body had been found in a locked room... Oh wait, have we gone through this? Hmm, let's press it. Hey. Okay, that's a bit strange. I think that's the first time I've heard his voice, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little premature for you to be objecting. Just wait until I'm done. Okay. Sorry, I got a little distracted by my phone. He left it unlocked. If the door had been locked, Master would be the only one who could commit the crime. Well, maybe the doctor just happened to be unlocked. The doctor? The door? <laughs> well, maybe the door just happened to be unlocked. Then, maybe the body just happened to be lying in the open, waiting to be discovered. Run. Do you think you could, can become a de good detective with logic like that? Uh, but I don't want to be a detective, I want to be a defense attorney. Good point. I hope he isn't trying to steal my apprentice. <laughs> Master had a reason to leave the door unlocked. Maybe he got inspired by the way Ray ate his paper. He thinks it's really cool. And to ensure the, that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Why? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm supposed to press this. Hey, hold it. You believe the broken lid was mas Mr. Master's doing? Yes. If he hadn't been, if he hadn't done that, the body would wouldn't have been found. Yes, but what's the purpose of it being found? It doesn't seem likely that he would break his own work while he was judging the contest. That's right. Master Jeff would never waste a good dessert. On piece of cake, he even eats them while dancing. That TV show is irrelevant here. Detective Bat, you know about piece of cake? Am I the only one who didn't know? There you go, when I didn't even know of it. What? This is a surprise. So, do you sing the song too? <laughs> I would like to hear you sing it. Oh, he does, doesn't he? That's irrelevant. Anyway, the one who broke the lid on the treasure chest was Master. You sing, don't you, Detective Bat? The judging began in Mr. Gustavia's room, right? Yeah. I too was looking forward to seeing his candy craft. Seeing as I am interested in candies after all. Hmm? If you would like, I can put on a display of my candy craft for you right now. Woohoo! What do you think? It represents Sir Detective. Um, is that supposed to be a police dog? No, no, no. This is a wolf. <sighs> a lone wolf. Not bad. Okay. What would my candy form be? I'm kind of curious myself. Ooh, Gregory. Are you interested in candies too? Moving on.
Okay. Do you know the time of the murder? We're still waiting on the autopsy report. Without the autopsy report, how could you have arrested Mr. Master? We don't know the time of death, but we do know when the body was discovered. Okay. It was discovered while Master was judging Dame Gazavia's room. Okay. I believe he let the body be discovered to create an alibi. Um, but that alone is not enough to arrest Mr. Master, right? Right. Who knows? That's all I intend to say. No, that's not enough. Detective Bat, are you hiding something? Probably. Detective Bat seems a, a, de a demon. A demon. A demon. A demon. That Mr. Master is the culprit. I don't think Master Jeff would have broken his own creations. But why was the treasure chest broken then? Hmm. Just think back to the situation in which the body was found. In doing so, we should be able to see the contradiction in Bat's reasoning. I don't know, man. So if the body had been found in a locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. After the judging, everyone is scheduled to meet in Master's room. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. I have no idea. We've pressed everything, so... Um... So... What does this mean? Had been found in a locked room. But the thing is, it's his own room. Why would he leave a body in his own room? And then he left the door unlocked. But the thing is... No, I, I don't know. I don't see this sense in the whole thing. All the statements together. Because... It doesn't make sense, does it? He broke the lid on the treasure chest. After the judging, everyone was scheduled. I don't see how that could create the impression that the murder occurred while he was away. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Alright, hang on. Let's look at our... our e oh, we don't have much evidence. The only key that can unlock the rooms was in Mr. Master's possession. Alright. The victim's body was found in a treasure chest made of chocolate in Jeff Master's room. The cause of death seems to be a hard blow to the head by a blunt object. Some circumstances are unclear in regard of, in regard a part of the treasure chest and a blood stain. All the deserts in my ma my master's Mr. Master's room each have one part missing. All right, before the ships fall, the treasure chest's lead was closed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Master broke the lead. I don't know, let's go for this. Alright. Yo. Originally, the victim's body was hidden inside the chocolate treasure chest. Miss Hall entered the room when she heard the sound. I think it is likely that this was the sound of the chocolate ship falling over. Yeah, that's what you would think just by looking at the crime scene. You said that Mr. Master broke the treasure chest lid himself. But this photo shows that the ship's, the ship's fall caused the lid to break. 
Mm-hmm. If the leak broke just before Miss Hall found the body, then Mr. Master, who was in the middle of judging, could not have broken it. Yes. I never said that Master broke the leak directly. Sure. The ship was set up to fall. How? How would she set it up to fall during the judging? Was set up to fall during the judging. I believe he tampered with the stem. Do you have proof he tampered with it? No, you don't. No, but the investigation isn't completely over yet. It seems they still haven't found anything conclusive. Have you found any other... Oops. Have you found any other fingerprints other than Mr. Masters in this room? Yeah, there were some left on the door. Okay. But the victim, Dava, and Master were also among the fingerprints left behind. Before we met our desserts, we all get a cheer to have the judging explained to us. Perhaps that was when we left those fingerprints? Okay. But you didn't find any fingerprints on the works in this room. What? Yes, someone tempered with the chocolate in this room, so perhaps there are other fingerprints on it apart from Mr. Masters. Uh-huh. Huh, no matter what we find, it won't clear Master of suspicion. Well, you wouldn't know. Lebby, hurry up and dust the chocolate for fingerprints. Roger that, sir. Okay, Lebby, what did you find? Detective Beck, we found another person's fingerprints on all the chocolates in the room. Whose fingerprints? Up? Uh, hmm? They belong to a pastry chef by the name of Delicia. Good work. Return to the investigation. Yes, sir. It would seem that there are other suspicious people besides Mr. Master after all. Um, I don't need a defense attorney to tell me that. I'm not stopping my investigation. We'll just go and listen to this del to what this Delicia has to say. Delicia, Gustavia told us about her not long, not long ago. Is she really a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal? Message, Rev. This delicious lady sounds mighty suspicious to me. Hmm. It seems that it will be necessary for us to speak to with her directly as well. Detective Bat, would you allow us to accompany you? I'm not obligated to do that. What? But you were the one who discovered the truth of the crime scene. Fine, have it your way. Follow me. Detective Bat, thank you. Uh huh. Detective Bat, sir. Are you sure about that? Right now, that prosecutor isn't. Oh my god. It's Von Karma, isn't it? Is in the room. Fabricating evidences as it is. Doesn't matter. Him and, I, him and I don't see eye to eye. Him? Who is the prosecutor in charge of this case anyway? Manfred von Karma. Uh, von Karma is in charge? That guy hasn't lost a case in 25 years. Manfred von Karma, the living legend of the prosecutor's office, if the rumors of his courtroom performance are to be believed, is a man who would do anything for a guilty verdict. No matter what kind of prosecutor he is, I can only hold true to the path I believe in. 
Okay. Delicious room. December twenty fourth. Wow. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. December twenty fourth. December twenty fourth. It's almost midnight. Throwback to it's a throwback to case five. Wait, so is it five four four? Case four. Uh, okay. He doesn't have long to live now. Wow, a candy castle, and there are even some fairies over there. This room seems to be structured in the same way as Master's room. There is nowhere near as gold. This room also seems to have been fitted with a temperature control panel. It's the opposite direction, how is it? It's reversed from a Master's room. Because the fridge is now on the left. Ah, it's over by that orange lamb, right? Indeed. Oh, Gregory. Indeed. Let's not forget to investigate it later, alright? Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale, if not for that castle in the middle of the room. Is this cream covered castle delicious work? Where is delicious? Oi, I. Can I help you? Oh, that was not what I expected. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello, boys. I'm Delicious Guns. In my native in England, I'm known as Miss Delicious. Being called a boy, even though I'm already 34, is certainly a rare experience. But boys, I understand you calling me that, but Mr. Edgeworth? Rude, Ray. Rude. As far as I'm concerned, you're all boys to me, even that detective over there. My name is Bad, not Boy. Just how old is this woman? Mr. Attorney, let's just finish our business here. Hmm. Right. Oh my god. I know that. Anywhere. I can't do his voice. It's too. It's way too low for me. I'm already having problems with normal man voice. Ham. Let's try. You. What do you think you're doing? Conversing with a mere attorney? Miss Edgeworth, a scary man came out of the candy castle. <laughs> Seriously? Von Karma. Hey, this man is prosecutor Von Karma? No wonder he looks scary. Eep! Eep! Manny! I already forgot what voice I give her. Because of Von Karma. So he's Von Karma. Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory H. Work, Defense Attorney. Bah, oh, I have no interest in the names of Defense Attorneys. I'm too grand for them. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. What a rude man. That piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Ugh, he's even scarier than the rumors say. Although that statement was also very rude. <laughs> Prosecutor Warren Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? Hum, you think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? 
As I thought, it wouldn't be that simple. Hmm, he's thinking. However, I make a special exception for this room. Why did he change his mind so quickly? Because it's Von Karma. You, oh Blackhorn. Don't call me that. My name is Bat. Ha, a mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage, at least. Bat, stand watch and see to it that they don't misbehave. Why me? I will not accept your ref 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 your refusal. Oops, got a phone interruption there. The phone rang. Okay, we'll try that again. Well then, I'll be investigating Gustavus' room next. Scary man. I'm babysitting again. I wonder why he and Von Karma are investigating together. They're both bad. Instead of being on bad terms, it seems like they hardly know each other. Miss Angel, now that we've got Von Karma's permission, we can continue investigating. Yes, his manner bothers me, but I am glad we can at least continue the investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I don't want you disturbing the room. So you investigate after me. What? Well, aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated his room yet? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. I came to take over for him, so I only got to this mansion just recently. So that's why he and Von Karma are investigating together, okay? Detective Bat, would you allow will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and also ensure that we don't tamper with anything. You want me to watch you? You're a strange liar. Hmm. I'll let you stick around a little longer. Yay! You did it, Miss Ajwa. Thank you. I knew it. Thank you, Detective Bad. But if you decide, if I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let's begin the investigation. Alright. Delicious room. I'm actually interested in talking to her first. Alright, this delicious. <laughs> huh? Miss Delicious? De delicious? You you don't seem as energetic as you were earlier earlier. Delicious. Can I ask just can I just ask? Did something ha happen with Von Karma? Yes see. No, n n nothing of the sort. But you just said yesy. <laughs> that Yessi just now was only a greeting. You're a cute boy, I like you. What's your first name? Eh, hey, it's Raymond, but... Well, Ray Ray, I think you'll make a good man out of yourself someday. Let us reflect back on Ray of the present day. Yeah, that's it. Ray Ray? How about that? I think you have a way with British. Oh, British ladies. I can't do British accent. She's a little different from my image of a lady. Why don't we listen to what she has to say? Okay, during the contest. Could you tell me about your actions during the contest? Yes, say. 
We began making desserts for the contest around 10 o'clock. I choked. Sorry. Basically, I was in here making my desserts the whole time. At half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Afternoon tea? It's a social occasion where conversation is had over black tea and cakes, just the way I like them. And so it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Bradley, you're a smart boy, aren't you? When did I become Greggy? Where was the afternoon tea held? I'm reconsidering her voice, actually. It took place. It took, it took. How about a deeper voice? It took place in the gardens outside of the fountain patio. I think I googled it up and said, and found out that it's pronounced as patio. Patio. It's our customary break time during the contest. It's always held at the dis. It doesn't suit her, does it? It's always held at the same time. Today there was there were just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Katie and me. Since Jeffy had already finished his creations, he was there from the from beginning to end. Okay. Icy and Gussie didn't join who is Icy? Didn't join in because they hadn't finished their desserts yet. So everyone other than Mr. Dover and Mr. Gustavia participated. Oh, okay. Yes, actually, and I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of Jeffy's handmade pastries and Katie's French brick tea. So after I hadn't, so after I hadn't eaten my fill, I returned to pee for everyone else. During the contest, did you enter any of the? Other contestants' rooms. Uh, mm, she's looking away. Hey, what? what? What are you saying? We found your fingerprints on the desserts at the crime scene. All of them. If you found them, are you admitting that you went to the scene of the murder? <laughs> I admit it, but I'm not the murderer. It's honest, honest truth. Please hear me out. The honest truth. What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is, I was studying his desserts. Studying? I, I'm just changing her voice every single time. Studying. Because Jeff is so talented at making sweets. Well, nobody was in his room at that time, so I just decided to study his works for a bit. You're not allowed to enter during competition time. Or was it judging time? But if you were just looking, you wouldn't have left your fingerprints behind. Question mark? You see, it's natural that I left fingerprints on the desserts. For the sake of research, oh my god. For the sake of research, I ate some of his desserts. Eh? Isn't that like stealing food? It couldn't be. The one who wrecked Mr. Master's room was... <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't my intention to vandalize the room, but... I did eat a few parts of the desserts in his room. I secretly ate little bits and pieces so Jeffy wouldn't find... A it's so obvious. So, did you eat the ships then as well? That is so silly. You could have had any part of the ship and you chose the part that supported the ship. The chocolate ship broke because of you. Eep, I'm sorry. 
So the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. But that you've got to believe me. I'm on this. I'm not a murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't press on it yet. Are you telling me not to press? Okay. Do I present anything? I could. I'd like to know why didn't you report on the body when you went to eat it? Cute! Oi! That thing you've got there is rather cute, Greggy. But the color is rather unappealing. Now, if I were to coat it with fresh cream. S stop it! No. How about this? No. How about this? No. How about the Sailor Moon thing? No. Your finger marks. I guess not. Strange. She's not gonna answer to anything, is she? Take my badge. Oi, what's that? This badge is a proof that I'm a defense attorney. Hi, I'll show you mine too. The chef's hair is proof that I'm a press-free chef. Is it so? Put on those saltine stores. Hey, it's not the hat that's important. It's the spirit. You wear the hat with that matters. So then, wouldn't that mean to say about anyone can become a pastry chef? Not really? Hmm, so there's more of the room. So, what we are going to do is we will continue this in the next episode. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.